Who wrote the Quran? No, no. We are. We we have to have the discussion yeah. rather than in a. What about the Bhagavad Gita? What about no? Let's talk about you, the Bible I first. I answered your question. No, let's you talk said, about. You said to me, just like this other guy. You said to me. It's not about answering if questions. I answered your question. You I want to my, learn. You won't answer my is question. Is it difficult for me? If I want to learn from you, no. If, is it difficult for me if I want to learn from you, you your reasons, you your reasons you why you believe in the Bible and why I want to probe further to actually consolidate that reasons. Yes. So let's do that. Right. Do you so find? Let's do, that. do you let's find? Let's do that. Okay. Said, let's do that. Answer my question. Do you want to speak Ooh, about oh. both of them at the same time? Or do you want to it's it's do you want to it's a conversation no, going back and forth? The reason why it's going to be difficult I ask my look, look, I'm not here to be interviewed. I'm if you want to speak in a that's free what speech, it means. Yeah, I am interviewing you. If you want if you want to speak in a free speech corner, it's a conversation. Sure. So you ask my so, question. So you don't find it's gonna confuse so who, the subject? No, I don't. Scribes. 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 Names. No. Names? Yeah. Zaid bin Thabit. That's it? No, there's about 50 scribes. Do you want to name them all? Let me 10. Hmm? Let me 10. 10? So I have to give them names from, from Google Scholar. It's difficult. We have 50. No, 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 no. We can give you, we can give you 50 names of the scribes. But no, no. What I'm saying is, what you're doing is now, what's the relevance to this question? If I gave you 10, and then what? But then it'll, it'll, it'll answer my question. What is, I want, what is I want what? to know if you know who wrote the Quran. Uh, I do, but what, give me ten. No, what is the relevance? Give me. It's because it's a question, and I want you to. No, no, I want to know question. what's the relevance, because no, I want to. Well, are you? A question with a no, no. Question. Are you learning something from me? Yes, I am. Right. Go ahead. Hmm? Let's go. Okay, Go ahead. Okay, that's fine. So if I give you now, okay. hang on. Okay. Names are described. Will you accept it? Okay. And then, and then, and then I'm going question. to ask you. I'm going to ask you again. The concept of God that you believe in, in the Bible, you said it's logical. Right. So, while I am going to give you the exact names of the scribes, I don't want to mispronounce them, so that it's better for you to learn. Of course, yeah. Think about, think about my question to you. How do you believe the concept of God, as depicted in the Bible, is logical? Okay? So think about it. You can answer if you want, at the same time, I'm looking. Okay. I want to hear the answer to my question first. Okay, there you go. If he pulls out the 10 scribes, will you accept it? If, the, if he pulls out the 10 scribes, will you we'll accept it? Yeah? Okay, that's fine. Okay. Because you say you're going to accept it. Abu Bakr, Omar, Uthman, Ali. These are the people who wrote the Quran. These are 10 of the 50. Wait a second. You asked me, you asked me, the people who scribed the Quran, who wrote the Quran, right? So I gave Zaid bin Thabit, and you said you needed more. So I'm offering you more. Okay, right? good, yeah. Okay, so. Amr bin al-As, Ubay bin al-Kab, Abdullah bin al-Arqam. Do you want more? You, I said ten. How many is that? Five? Did you, did you count? I can. I okay. School. Count again. And then, then... And then you course, ask me a question. I'll no, no, no. I've already, asked, I've already asked you the question, right? Okay. I know, yeah, I know. It's okay. So, I want to hear the lies. Count, I want to hear the lies. Counting it. Excuse me? I want to hear the lies. Come on, let's hear it. So what's that lies? The scribes that you said... Are you a man of integrity? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah. Are you a man enough? Yes. To have a discussion Ask, rather than rather question. than saying, I want to hear the lies. I am I going to am I going to think you, you are lying? I, don't You're not I would I would say you are not lying. I would give you the benefit of doubt saying you're speaking the truth. Right. Count in your hands. Abu Bakr al Siddiq? Right. I can count in my head. Okay. Omar bin al-Khattab, Uthman bin Affan, Ali bin Abi Talib, Zubair bin al-Awwam, Amir bin al-Fuhayra, Abar bin al-As, Ubay bin al-Kab, Abdullah bin al-Arqam, Thabit bin Qais. That's all right, okay. Now answer, now answer right. So the question I asked you, how do you square the circle of the belief of God in the Bible, which consists of the Father, Son and the Holy Spirit? Do you believe in that? Yes, I do. Right. Do you believe that this concept makes sense? Yes. Okay. Is the Father is the Father God? Father, it's a Trinity. Remember, it's three in one. It's not the Father God, the Holy Spirit is God, the Son's God. It's three in one. Three what in one what? Three, 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 three. Sorry, three three what in one what? Three, three, three people who make up the, the Spirit of God, the Holy Spirit. Okay, so let me see if I understood it. There are three people or three persons in, in this one, one God. Yes. Each person 
like the Father, like the Son and the Holy Spirit, is each person fully God? Each person is part of God. When you say part of God, they're not 100% God then? Third, third, third. Three, remember? Three so one third. Three so, so the Father is one third God? The Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit make up God. So the Father is one third God? You're not listening. I'm you, said one third, one third, one third. you said one third. You said one third. So you say the Father is a third of God. Can't separate them. They, they are one. They are three in one. No, no. They are one when you put they them together. But individually, 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 they are not hundred percent God. Is that what you're saying? I'm saying so they are three in one. And you're not listening. I want to know and learn from you. I'm trying to is the Father hundred percent God with all the divine qualities? God, God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Three in one. Why okay. don't you understand? May I may I just rephrase my question so that you can actually teach me something today? The Father, the Father within this. Godhead, is he fully divine, possessor of all divine attributes and qualities? Yes, I would say so, yes. Right, so that makes him fully God. They're all fully God, yes. So, so very good. Holy Spirit. So now, my friend, now we have a different understanding. It was initially, initially third, 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 now it's fully, fully, fully God. Remember, it's three in one. On the Father, on the hands, but I understand the what you believe, but, you but I want believe. to know how you, you make that logically coherent. Because I read the Bible, I read parts of the Bible, and I believe it. Look, according to the Nicene Creed, the Father is God. Do you believe in the Nicene Creed? Do I believe in the Nicene Creed? I don't think I've even read it. No. I don't, never I don't think okay, I've read never mind. Like I said, the Creed goes like this. The Creed goes like this. The Father is God. The Son is God. And the Holy Spirit is God. Right. The Father is not the Son. The Son is not the Father. Right. The Son is the Holy, the Holy Spirit, and so on. Right? right? They're not three gods, but they're one God. Yeah, that's, what I that's what the Creed says. But I, I want to know how each being God and not identical to each other, to they're not three gods, but one God. How do you make that logical? Remember, you said logical. How do you make that logical conclusion from the premises that you have that three gods? God. Is one God. one God. To give you an example, one God. Steve is a man. You are a man. Are we sure? Okay. Are we sure? <laughs> What's your name? David. 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 You are a man. Steve is a man. Don't bring me into this. Okay. What's your name, brother? Robert. Robert. David is a man. Robert is a man. Mansoor is a man. Right? Yeah. David can be a woman tomorrow. Right? That's what he's saying. No problem. So we share what we call the humanity or being human. The essence of being human. So how many mans are they? One man? Two man? Three man makes three men, right? We are three men. Not one man. Remember the concept. The difference between God is divine. So what makes him God? Right. So if you have one divine, another divine, and another divine, can you tell me logically why is that not three divines but one divine? Because God made it so. God made three in God one. Not you remember you said. You know, you know, remember you said your belief is logical. Now tell me how is it logical? Minute, hold on a minute. That's about four questions you've asked. I need to ask you a question. Now. You didn't explain how this is logical. I need to ask you a question. You can. You can. But can you? Can you once again? Why are there no women? Can you? Can you once again? Why are there no women? Yes. Let's bring the women into it. The, there is a whole chapter of the Quran called Maryam. So you are mistaken. Is that, is that, yeah, so, women so you are mistaken. Is there, is there any more? Apart from Mary? Firstly, look, one moment. Firstly, firstly, you asserted in all being wrong. You didn't, you didn't let me may I, may I, may I just answer what you've just said? Remember, David. Are there any more women in a David, you asserted. What's your name again? Mansur. 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 David. Are there any women okay. in the Quran? I, I, let me finish the first answer that you asked me. You said, David, are there any women in the Quran? Yeah. Insinuating, thinking, assuming that the Quran doesn't talk about women. So I give you a name, now you want more. So your yeah. original yeah. assumption was wrong. Your original assumption is wrong. There is only one woman made in the Quran. No. Why isn't there more? 
No, no, no. You know it's only Mary. So, I knew that about so Mary. I knew what, that. What I feel. What I fail to understand from you is how is the belief why, why you of three gods. Why, why you're answering the question of a question. I'm not answering the question of the question. question. Yes, I'm going back to the original question. question. You come back to my why question. Steve, very self evident. Steve, be fair. I am going back to the original question. Remember. Why are there no more women in the Quran? Moses Opera always has been. Why? You answer a question with a question because you have to try to control the conversation. You said we should bring you in. Hang on. You've been coming uh, do you want to be? You do you want to be in the conversation? No, I just want you to right. answer. Right, so keep quiet there. Right, so, right. 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 so David, question. David, answer my question. I am, I am. Why be patient. No more women patient, David. In the Quran. Listen, David. Question, answer. David, answer. listen. Go ahead. You started by saying your belief is logical. Then I wanted to know. Hang on, because we haven't finished with the first question. Finish yourself off. No. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. So tell us how are three divines, three, no, same question. I would like you to explain to the people and you to me, firstly, and listen, cameras, David, how are the three divines one, logically? Because it's in the Bible and I believe the Bible. Oh, now, that makes it logical? Answer my question. How is that a logical why conclusion? Are there no women, no, apart from Mar Miriam, okay. mentioned in the Quran, okay. why are there no more what, women in the Quran? There are. Name them. Hang on, there are. So if you didn't know, park your question for a second. One moment, one moment. So now we, wait a second, now we have your response to the logical problem of Trinity. If you didn't know what it was, it's called the logical problem of Trinity. And the way you solved it, hang on, I'm explaining. The way you solved it is by saying, the Bible states it so. That makes it logical. So if I give you, a book which makes illogical statements and because it says so it must be logical do you follow so far would you agree are you gonna answer my no question? would you agree just because a book says so it makes it logical is that a logical inference that you no, can take no but it's not the bible is it i'm talking about the bible no, yeah but you're talking about any book no, no not, any, not any book the what makes the statements so in the bible logical question. when so you're same, question. Me same question same question and you're away same question. question same question you've gone on to another question same question answer okay. my question does why that sound no logical more, to you why okay. are there no women in the quran uh, thank, thank you david you don't now answer. does it sound does it sound Logical to you, <laughs> the three divines are one divine just because the Bible says so. Does it sound logical? What he said, no, it doesn't. No, his right. reasoning wasn't. So, right. if this is the very basis of what makes logical, I have no interest in talking to this gentleman anymore. That's why I'm saying, and you seem to be a logical person. Right. Thank you, David. Control it. There is no point discussing it. I explained to David all of this. Thank you. Yeah, that's it.